Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I bring you Iron No Sleep Road to Max episode number 7. The last Iron Man Road to Max video that I did for you guys was about 4 months ago and in that video we did get the mining pet, we opened 30 brimstone keys, and we did get a few total levels. Not too many, it was kind of a short one. But for this video though, it's much longer, uh, you're mainly going to be seeing a lot more total levels gained. For particularly in construction because I had so many logs that I wanted to make into planks and then eventually get the construction XP and also a lot of GP saved for the butler. And yeah, the main goal of course was to get that ornament pool level which we ended up doing and you'll just see a ton of construction levels gained kind of just in a few days. Most of these levels I did get a few months ago, you know, the last upload was like I said four months so a lot of these levels are pretty old clips actually done back when I lived in Florida and there's also still some relatively new clips that you will see at the end of the video that are pretty recent. I also did kind of a bank recap because my bank value has gone up in a pretty good amount since last video, mainly because of all of the mining that I've been doing. And I made sure to throw in some clue scroll clips later on as well, see if we can't get lucky there. I would say the highlight for this video other than the ornament pool is that as I mentioned in the loot from 5000 Necreal video, I did get my second 99 on this account, which was strength. And I might actually be getting a third 99, which you guys will see in the next progress video as well. Don't know when that'll be, but uh, that 99 will be range, and uh, that is because I am considering doing loot from 3,000 to Zar monsters. Now, if I did this video and I did use the Dorgish and Crossbow method, which I think I would, then I'll definitely be getting 99 range and a decent amount of HP XP as well. Not too sure about how the drops are going to be, but uh, I do intend on using this account uh, for the loot series because a lot of people seem to enjoy the Iron Man style loot videos alongside the main. I always prioritize the main, but I'm always on the Iron Man. You know, I do put in a lot of hours these days compared to in the past, and I'm always making sure to be doing something productive on this Iron Man account. Um, I've been still focusing so much on Amethyst Mining. Should be getting 98 Mining, wrapping up that goal finally after a long, long half year uh, just spent on mining because of just how inefficient and how inactive I was throughout that time. And luckily for me, that will also finish up 99 fletching and also get me 90 crafting so shout out to amethyst for kind of making multiple skills easier over a long period of time using rune pickaxe was pretty rough but you know we dealt with that i did actually knock out all the free to play quests you know there were a few quests that i did i guess just not complete and uh, yeah i did decide to kind of do that on this account obviously having a quest cape is much more useful on an iron man uh, than it is on a main so i will be focusing a little bit towards that goal i'm sure i'll get one in 2020 but but I still have yet to even get one on my main yet, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. So yeah, overall we did go from 62 to 85 construction, which was a huge accomplishment, and uh, after that I did visit Blast Furnace, uh, got a few smithing levels, did some AFK gold bars as well, just in Port Phasmatis, and thanks to all the Amethyst, we did actually get 97 fletching as well, so one more level until my goal for that is done. As most of you guys know, I am trying to get as many 99s as I can at the same time time. No, no particular reason, just don't want to get all the 99s um, individually. So yeah, I do usually stop with like 100k away from 99 as most of my 98 skills are right now. But as those 96s and 97s slowly inch their way towards 98, uh, they're pretty much crossed off the list and very few skills remain. Obviously, the number one skill I am looking forward to for this account, especially getting 99, will be Slayer. I do think, you know, once I start doing Slayer, I will happily live stream that and just make it kind of my main focus. Maybe even take a little bit of a break from the loot series. And uh, yeah, that should be some pretty good Iron Man related videos as soon as we start that Slayer grind. I'm not much of a PVMer, but I do think I will go for a few Bandos pieces uh, before I start Slayer, because I think that would just be kind of fun on stream. And also, I have so much food and so many potions, and also tons of stockpiled herbs to make more potions that I just don't see why I should have all that stuff if I'm not going to use it. I will try to put it to good use. And you guys will see some interesting PVMers in content in the future. I've really just always prioritized skilling on this account since the first day I made it because I've just really enjoyed skilling on an Iron Man. It's a much different feel and it's much nicer to know that all the supplies in your bank, all the time that you invested is much more useful on an Iron Man account. You know, you can't sell anything, you can't stake anything. And yeah, it's just a good feeling overall. I wish more people would try out Iron Man. You know, 2019, we've seen quite a lot of staking uh, definitely becoming more popular these days and uh, definitely brings a lot of stress to the table. So if you ever 
ever want to try something new for all my stakers out there, you know, maybe try out an Iron Man. Maybe hardcore, you know, you like living on the edge. Hardcore is definitely uh, something for you to try. I myself don't think I'll ever do a hardcore Iron Man. You know, I just love this account too much, but uh, at the end of the day, it is definitely nice to try new things. Well, that was a lot of rambling, so getting back into the video, here we are at Blast Furnace getting a few total levels. Uh, I did have about 11,000 gold ore in the bank, so I just figured I would use it all at Blast Furnace, get a lot of XP, and luckily it doesn't cost too much GP to do this mini game, and the XP rates are insane, so yeah, shout out to this. I did go from 79 to, I think, 81 smithing, or maybe 82, and um, I think the next time I'll be doing smithing will be quite a while from now. I do imagine it'll be my second to last 99, only because of the way that I chose to do 99 mining, and people did warn me that if I did 99 mining the uh, amethyst way, that I would not have enough for 99 smithing, and they were right, so I'm not too sure how I'm gonna finish 99 smithing just yet, but like I said, I think I'll actually be doing Slayer next, and you know, that'll take a few months in general. Plus, after that, we have the Zaya rune crafting, which I'm sure will take another few months. So yeah, smithing can definitely wait. I'm not really in a rush for that. Was nice to get a few levels, though, and we'd also use some bones that I had in the bank. Got a few prayer levels. Really just trying to get to 2100 total, and then eventually 2200. It's insane to have an Iron Man account this far. I really did not imagine this was gonna happen, but uh, here we are many years later. And as you may have seen in the loot from 10,000 Aber Inspector videos, I did get 98 strength in that, and uh, the Necreal video was what got me 99. So I figured I would throw in the clips, even though they are pretty old, and you might have seen them before. Uh, but I did get a few attack and defense levels since I was on shared XP. And yeah, in return, we did get to 121 combat uh, at the very end. So shout out to these loot series, really progressing this Iron Man, not just by getting me levels, but also making the bank look more and more awesome every video that we do. And yeah, 99 strength was achieved by that Necreal, so we went and bought the cape, and I've been flexing it ever since, usually any time that I do my amethyst mining. Did have some random loop and tooth keys, uh, both from these loot videos that I did save, and uh, luckily for me, that was actually receiving over 25 new dragon stones for my bank, which we will be converting into glories, and if I ever decide to do abyss rune crafting, those glories will come in handy. So those are really nice, you know, not many people talk too much about crystal keys these days now that there's enhanced crystal keys. So shout out to the OG keys, they do still serve a purpose. Also kind of a side note, speaking of jewelry, you know, a lot of people were wondering if I'm ever going to be getting Zenite jewelry from Demonic Gorillas, and I will be doing that. I think in the next video you will see Monkey Madness 2 completed, maybe Dragon Slayer 2 as well. I do have most all of the requirements. It's just kind of my laziness that's been putting those two quests off. And the number one question that I also get is if I'm ever going to be getting a Dragon Warhammer. And the answer to that is not anytime soon. I just don't have any plans on killing them. But if I ever do make a loot video at Shamans or Shamans, whatever you call them, then I certainly will be making it on the Iron Man. I'd be a fool not to. So maybe one day. But yes to the question about Zenites. Uh, in the next video, you guys will hopefully see that. It's a promise that I'll at least get the quest done. I'm not too sure if I'll be lucky enough to get all the ones that I want. But yeah, wrapping this video up before we get into a little bit of a bank, you know, just update. Uh, we did check the kingdom after about a month and a half. Had a lot of herbs and did run out of money. I had 10 mil in there and it lasted a few months, maybe two to four months. I honestly don't remember. But uh, thanks to all the Necreal GP that we did get, I did invest six more mil into my kingdom. And I am hoping that that lasts a long time. I do have everything set on herbs, so we will see the outcome of that most likely in the next video. But yeah, as promised, here we are at the end of the video. Just time to show you guys the updated bank. Little bit of things have changed. There's the amethyst right there, about 5,400 currently mined. I should be getting about 8,000 more, and then after that, uh, a lot of crafting. So yeah, that'll increase the arrow count. Then of course we have the melee tab. Uh, still have the same amount of whips, and of course all the barrow sets. Yeah, currently we do have over 10 mil cash. That's a huge change since last video, and that doesn't even include the six mil that we did put into the kingdom. Can't forget about the hundred. 145k amethyst arrows as well as the fancy Robin Hood hat and the new strength cape. So yeah, those are some nice uniques. Moving on though to the potions, we are now at 4,000 super attacks and almost 2,000 super strength as well as close to 3,000 staminas. Decent amount of super restores in Sarah Brews and also a lot more seeds than last time thanks to all of the Necreals, the 5,000 of those, and of course the 10,000 specters. So yeah, a lot of farming and Herblore XP banked. Probably about two Herblore levels and as it goes 
runs for farming. I really haven't done any runs recently, so not even going to bother to calculate that. Moving on to the skilling tab, though, here is all of our pure essence, which we will use for rune crafting, uh, maybe one day, and also all the U longs and the U long bows we have to out. We'll start that when I do agility. All those gold ore, as promised, were used in the making of this video to get some smithing levels, and currently we do have about 17,000 coal, so we'll see if we can't use that for something in the future. Not too many runes, you know, not much to talk about there. A decent amount of cut gems and still got my 2,000 recoils as well as my 1,000 dueling rings. Should probably build that ornament pool and jewelry box in my house, but uh, just really haven't had a reason to yet, although I do have the levels. The only thing that's different in this skilling tab was that we did get these expert mining gloves. It was kind of a new update uh, a couple weeks ago, which does really help with amethyst mining. So yeah, shout out to the mining guild. Really nice to actually get some updates before I get 99, so I was happy to speed the XP up. This tab here is pretty much what we have left of the Slayer tab. Still got the Obsidian pieces and over 200 Rune Full Helms. Couple sets of Mystic down below and just some Clue Scroll items. The next tab is pretty much the same, just extra Clue items. No Alkables in here, just some level 1s, 2s, and 3s. And of course, the remaining tab is the Big Money tab. All the fish, the uh, angler fish, all the sharks, the Karambwans. Mentioned before in the video that, you know, I should start PVMing because why have all this food if you're not going to ever PVM with it? Even though the meta these days is like the ornament pool all the time. Still think that food can come in handy one of these days. So yeah, the uh, overall price check of all of these valuable stackable items just in the inventory is 137 mil. And in the rest of the bank with everything combined, probably looking at another 250 mil. Uh, it used to be worth a lot more, but a lot of the main items actually did go down quite a bit. The economy's been up and down through the past couple years in this game. But yeah, just from a value standpoint, may not be that much, but again, there's not much PVMing that goes on this account. And this video was really just to show you guys all the levels that I have gotten uh, when I wasn't AFK Amethyst Mining throughout the past few months. So yeah, it was pretty simple, pretty to the point, and uh, sure was a lot of rambling, so hope you guys didn't mind too much. And with that being said, I guess that's it for this video. I will see you guys in a couple months when the total level is closer to 2200, and uh, hopefully I have a lot more to show for it. Hopefully a lot more important quests completed in the next video, as well as a few Zenites obtained. I think that's really the only PVM and goal for next video. You should just see a lot more skilling and kind of the final touches of the total levels all before we start the long 99 slayer grind so with that being said guys thanks for all your continued support i will see you in a few days with the loot video this time and until next time mr no sleep out